second. PSM is profitable scaling margin. Basically, how much money can you make off of the customer journey for a specific product or offer? Now, a lot of you are, with your best efforts, probably promoting two, three, four, five, six, ten different products. That's a mistake. If you're promoting more than one product, I really hope you are spending thousands of dollars a day. Here's the problem. In PSM, profitable scaling margin, we are looking at the lifetime value of the customer divided by how much it costs to acquire them and how much it costs to get that product into their hands. That's ultimately the total margin on that customer. Now, you might get a ROAS of a five on some sale, but if that product costs a lot to make, and the LTV wasn't that much better than your cost per sale and the cost to make it, that 5X ROAS might mean that you lost 10 cents. Let me give you an extreme example. I was running lead gen for Nissan to do the alpha for the lead gen ad unit. It cost me maybe 50 bucks to get, a, to get somebody to go into a sale, to go into a test drive for Nissan Sentra, $25,000 car. Now, the conversion rate on that was pretty good. If you're taking a test drive of that car, more than half of the people are buying it. So let's just say half of the people bought it. Well, my Facebook ROAS would be a 250. Does that sound reasonable? No. But if one out of two leads drives the sale of a $25,000 vehicle, my Facebook ROAS is a 250, and that's what you're saying all the time. So my point is, instead of trying to focus on the best ROAS of everything, understand the profit margin per sale. I'll give one other example about this. A alcohol delivery-based brand here out of LA, they had a Facebook rep, guru expert guy, running their Facebook ad account, and they could not scale past about four or $500 a day. And they were getting a three, four, five X ROAS on it, and they were stoked you know, doing deliveries to Los Angeles and San Francisco. Good for them. When we started focusing on PSM, incremental lift, what we call ecosystem ROAS, and, and really optimizing our creatives to be good partners to Facebook, we pivoted from trying to make Facebook look good to getting a $20 to $30 profit per customer. When we did that, we could raise our spend from four dollars 500 a day to three to 4000 a day. What do you think happened to the cash flow of that business? when we were able to six to 10 X daily spend and profit on every single one of those customers. What do you think happened to their bottom line? What do you think happened to their month over month profit margins? Now, some days our Facebook ROAS looked like a four, some days it looked like a 0.4, but I didn't care because we weren't worried about taking credit. Ultimately, we concerned ourselves with making money by being a team player. And what that looked like more than anything was we figured out what offer could we get a sale for and deliver to the customer with the largest margin between that front end and the LTV of the customer. We looked at, well, this offer, we might break even, but we know somebody's likely to buy two or three times after that. So we can 3X our money if we break even selling this because that's how much that LTV is worth. That's a 1X ROAS for a 3X return. That's how you start to make money. We didn't care about ROAS or MER because hey, look, those numbers don't mean anything. And if you feel like they do, let me ask you a question. If you run an email campaign on Black Friday sale and your Facebook ROAS comes in at a 10, does that mean you did a good job? The answer is no. Think about it. Now, the last thing I want to cover today is something that's really important. But I just want to say, if you're still here watching this, go ahead and give a like. It means the world to me. And subscribe and tell your friends. Now, the last thing we want to focus in on here is repeatable and scalable systems and process. If your business does not have a simple step-by-step -step execution for onboarding and success of your clients that can be executed by any person 
at that level in your business. Any media buyer in your business can step into any account and execute anything that needs to be done because all the systems and process are the exact same. You don't have a system to scale. You have a system set up to fail. When I take people through, for instance, my Facebook Ads MBA program, for that program is the system and process for accountability, transparency, and ultimately making it easy for any person to execute any task for any client because none of this stuff is rocket science. The point I'm trying to get to here is you need to document every single piece of what's going on. You need to understand what's happening. And the bottom line is Facebook marketers especially people that came in around 2017, 2018, 2019, the gurus and experts running agencies and all sorts of stuff. They never learned how to actually advertise or run marketing. They were the person lucky enough to hit buttons when basically all you had to do was exist. And there's many reasons for that. Yes, Facebook was cheaper, but also the economy was a lot better. And there was way less... Uh, you know, competition in the space. When there's way more money to go around and way less competition for those people to spend it, way easier to sell things. Now that we have to actually be marketers and understand advertising and it requires somebody to do something other than trying to look good and boost their ego by taking credit for everybody else's work, we're seeing people struggle left, right, and center. And it's not necessarily their fault. They were poorly trained by people that didn't know what they were doing and they're probably really underpaid and overworked while doing it. So if you wanna see success for your agency, for your business, for your efforts, you need to create a system and process for repeatable and scalable results. If you don't have that down every step of the way, then you have a really pressing need for your business right now. If you don't have the ability to understand and manage for what's going to happen next week, next month, and you don't have the redundancy built in to basically have anybody that's capable of doing the work to execute the work at the drop of a hat, you are absolutely on the razor's edge of abject failure. And when you make a system and process that works, you can apply it to anybody. The application of that system and process for success ultimately means that you can find the people that work well with you and success becomes a when, not an if. And if you're not in that situation where you have that level of confidence, then I highly suggest that you take an effort to build one or invest in one. That's one of the reasons my Facebook Ads MBA program has been so successful for people is because that is the core of what we get to. So that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this stuff. Once again, if you're still here, go ahead, ask me questions, subscribe. YouTube thinks you might like some of this stuff. Smash that button there. And if you want to know more about the Facebook Ads MBA program, go to submit.facebookdisruptor.com and I'll see you on the internet. Bye.